Question three says a circle has the equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 16y is equal to 80. Part A has two parts. And the first part asks us to find the coordinates of the center of the circle. And the second part asks us to find the radius of the circle for three marks. So we should already know the form of the equation of a circle centered at the points a and b with a radius r would follow the form x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared so we simply need to get it into this form in order to determine the coordinates of the center of the circle and the radius of the circle okay so how do we go about this well we have this equation we're given for the circle and what we could do is we could group the like terms and then complete the square of those terms in order to get it closer to the form that we are looking for. OK, so grouping the like terms, we get the following x squared minus 10x plus y squared plus 16y is equal to 80. So completing the square of the x terms, we get x minus 5 all squared minus 25. We get the minus 5 by halving the coefficient of x. And then we need to subtract by the square of this term to get minus 25. Okay. And then completing the square of the y terms, we get y plus 8 squared minus 64. So we got the 8 by halving the 16. And then we subtract by the square of this number, which is minus 64. And we set that all equal to 80. We can simplify the left hand side by doing minus 25 minus 64 to get the following x minus 5 all squared plus y plus 8 all squared minus 89 is equal to 80. We can then add 89 to both sides to get the following x minus 5 all squared plus y plus 8 squared is equal to 169. So from here, we can answer the first part of the question to find the coordinates of the center of the circle. As we know the form of the equation of a circle, we can determine that the circle center is 5 and minus 8. When finding the center of the circle, given the equation of the circle in this form, you would simply choose the coordinates of x and y which would set the corresponding brackets equal to zero okay in this case it's five and minus eight for the next part we can determine the radius since we know that the form of the equation of the circle is as follows where the right hand side is equal to r squared therefore we can say that r squared is equal to 169 and if we take the square root of both sides, we have that our radius is equal to 13, okay? So with these questions, just make sure that you set the value on the right-hand side equal to r squared, and don't assume it's just equal to r, okay? So for this next part, we're told that given that p is a point on the circle that is furthest away from the origin, o, find the exact length of op and this one is for two marks so we've just worked out the coordinates of the center of the circle and the radius of the circle and we're told that there's a point p on this circle that is furthest away from the origin and we're, we're asked to calculate the exact length of the line segment op now in these types of questions it's always best to get a visual sense of what's going on as this will help us to answer the question. So let's go ahead and make an attempt to sketch the circle on an XY coordinate axis. So here we've got an XY coordinate axis with the origin O and let's sketch the circle on this axis. Now when sketching circles, always start with the center of the circle and then draw the circle around the center. Okay. now. We already worked out that the center of the circle was 5 minus 8. So this is just a rough sketch, not drawn to scale, of course. So let's just assume that point is here. And then we draw the circle around this 
center. Now, when drawing a circle, it's always very, very important for you to keep in mind the radius, because this will determine whether the circle that you're sketching intersects with the coordinate axis or not, okay? For example, we know that the horizontal distance between the center of the circle and the y-axis is five. And since the radius is equal to 13, which is greater than five, well, that means that the circle is going to go through the y-axis, okay? Looking at the x-axis, well, we know that the vertical distance between our circle center and the x-axis is equal to eight. And since our radius 13 is greater than eight, well, it means that the circle is also gonna go through the x-axis, okay? So now we've got the sketch of the circle. We need to determine where the point P is on this circle, which is given as the point which is furthest away from the origin O. The easiest way to think about this is that the line segment between the furthest two points on any given circle has to go through the circle center because that's the only way that would include the length of the diameter, which is the largest length you can find inside a circle. In this case, the points we're looking at are O and P, which is some point on this circle. First, we can see that O is actually inside the circle. So in order to find the furthest point P, the line segment between O and the point P has to go through the center of the circle. Okay, now we already know the distance between the center of the circle and the point P. It's our radius, R equals 13. What we need to do to find the exact length of OP is to find the length between O and the center of our circle. And we can do this using Pythagoras' theorem since we know the horizontal and the vertical distance between these two points, okay? So let's just label this distance as H. So using Pythagoras' theorem, A squared plus B squared is equal to H squared for a right angle triangle with lengths A, B, and H. We get that five squared plus eight squared is equal to H squared, where A is equal to five, the horizontal length, B is equal to eight, the vertical length, and we need to work out H. So evaluating the left-hand side, we get 25 plus 64 is equal to H squared, Adding these values on the left-hand side, we get that 89 is equal to h squared, and taking the square root of both sides, we get that h is equal to the square root of 89. So now we have found the value of h. To find the exact length of OP, we simply need to add this exact value of h to the distance between the center and P, which we know is 13 and therefore the exact length OP is equal to the square root of 89 plus 13. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.